right, we'll move on then to our citizens wishing to be heard. Our first citizen is we have Mr. John Quarterman. Been here in a while. I'm uh, <clears throat> allergies. John Quarterman, 6565 Quarterman Road. That's where I live. I get my mail at 3338L Country Club Road in Valdosta, 31605. And I'm here as the Savani Riverkeeper on behalf of Walls Watershed Coalition. And we get our mail at Post Office Box 88, Hey Howard, Georgia, 31632. So, uh, first, I want to compliment code enforcement because I stopped in this morning on the way back from Florida at exit two at the Flying J, where a month or so ago one of our members called in a complaint because the bottom of the parking lot was just covered with trash blowing down into that uh, waterway down there. And huge numbers of tires and Backhoes full of trash have been taken out, and they're now building back a board fence. So congratulations, code enforcement, for getting something done. Um, the other thing I want to talk about, do you mind if I pass these out? Sure. I'll tell you, if you would, give them to Miss Dukes, and she'll pass them out. I think some of us have a copy of it probably already. So the Troopville River Camp project is what I'd like to ask you about. Uh, the chairman is familiar with the location because during Paddle Georgia back in June, he came and welcomed the 300 paddlers who were passing by from Troopville Boat Ramp heading south. And that's the place that we want to do this. The 74.14 acres from there up towards the boat ramp are privately owned. The owner would like to sell it to turn it into a park. Uh, it's very reasonably priced, about $125,000 for that, because it's all floodplain. Okay, so this top thing is a concept plan put together by ASA Engineering Pro Bono. They like this idea so much. The uh, confluence you can see sort of towards the uh, lower left there, and we want to leave that untouched and build a place to take the boats out a little bit up the width of Coochie River. Now, the... The yellow line is a hiking uh, or walking trail. It turns out there's very little to be done for that. It mostly already exists. Next to it, the red is a biking trail. A little more work, not a huge amount. The yellow line is supposed to be an access road to get down to where there needs to be an RV pad for a caretaker because that's a big feature, a live-in caretaker, which will handle much of the maintenance. Not all of it, but much of it. Now that also doesn't require much construction because when out, going out there uh, last week with ASA Engineering, we discovered the old north-south road of Troopville is basically still there in the woods. So we can use that as the access road. Not much to build. And, you know, we don't need a fancy road. We just need something for occasional use. The river camp itself is to be modeled on the ones on the Suwannee River with uh, hot and cold running water, air conditioning, bathrooms, showers, and five screened-in elevated sleeping platforms. Um, and considering what's been going on at uh, <clears throat> on uh, Sugar Creek, it's also relevant that we want to do water quality testing, have a center there for incubation, and uh, Sugar Creek is upstream on the Withacoochee from this location. The second page indicates the river camp at the center of the and Little River Water Trail, all the way from up above Adel down to the Samani River. I talked to the Cook County Commission um, last Monday of last week. They're considering writing a letter of support. Um, as you probably know, Thursday, the city of Valdosta voted to do that. Uh, Madison County, if you uh, flip over a few pages, their letter is already in here. Uh, Hampton County, I just talked to them. They said, oh, we forgot. We'll be writing that pretty soon. I've talked to some other counties. I don't really want to name them until I find out if they actually write a letter or not. So uh, that's important because one of the criteria in the Georgia Outdoor Stewardship Program that we're applying to is um, regional support. Right? Of course, the most important support is from Lowndes County and Valdosta. 
And what we're basically asking for at this point is a letter saying, we think this is a good idea, we support it. And if you could find your way clear to put in there that we'll help look into where to find the finances for the match, because there is a significant cash match. Now, that can possibly be reduced by doing more in kind. So that's basically what we're asking for. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Clark. All right. Thank you, John. Thank you, John.